To protect wildlife in Africa, it's a full-time job. Uh, it's, it's around the clock, 365 days of the year, and it's, it's full on. It's a lifelong commitment you make if you, if you want to get into, into conservation and preservation of these species. My name is Riley Travers. I'm the Conservancy Manager for Amir Rhine and Wildlife Conservation uh, in Zimbabwe. I've been running the Conservancy for the last 15 years and been actively involved in, in the management of the Conservancy and the protection of the wildlife within and around the, the Conservancy. Amiri's prime focus is to protect and preserve and breed black and white rhino. And with that in mind, with being able to protect those animals, we protect an entire array of wildlife that comes with it, which is the, the, the benefit of protecting a flagship species. I believe the most important factor of our operation is the men we have in the field. We've got outstanding, committed, dedicated, well-trained men in the field. And so our rhino have 24 hour protection. And Mary's focus is twofold. First of all, it's protecting the wildlife and secondly, it's protecting the community. And it's getting the, the local communities to benefit from conservation and to understand the importance of protecting the wildlife. And to do that, they've got to benefit. Human wildlife conflict is a big issue uh, all over Africa. And we believe the more we can empower, the more we can protect. Our biggest strength we have here in Imeri is the relationships we have with our community. And it's taken three generations to build those relationships. So my mum, Judy, and what she does with the community outreach program, she makes one of the biggest contributions to Imeri. And we really wouldn't be able to do what we do if it wasn't for her, to be honest. I mean, Rhino and Wildlife Conservation is a pretty diverse operation. There's so many different factors that contribute to making Imeri function. You know, conservation, it's expensive to, to protect wildlife. Um, it really is. And we're not a charity. We're not a donor organization. Yes, of course, you know, any donorship that comes in to Imeri makes a huge difference. But Imeri really does rely on tourism to function. We've got a tourist facility at Sable Lodge that people coming out to just for a day come out and see the wildlife and have a fantastic day out in the conservancy or they have the option of staying. We've got accommodation here that sleeps 18 and that really helps contribute towards running the conservancy and our outreach programs. My name is Eniwe uh, Imanyawi. I work at Aimiri uh, Rhino and Wildlife Conservation, and my job title here is a safari tour guide. I've worked here uh, for 15 years, but my relationship with Aimiri started when I was little because Aimiri was involved in helping the school which I went. My biggest dream was just to become a tour guide from what I see when I was young. Now I've got the dream come true and I live it. I'm happy and I'm glad I'm one of those people who was given an opportunity by Imire to change their life and I love what I do.
The volunteer program is unique. You get in and you get to understand what it takes to run a conservancy from dealing with the communities to dealing with the schools to dealing with frontline wildlife issues and the whole picture. So I'm Sam and this is Vera and we are the volunteer program coordinators here at Imiri. So basically the volunteer program was established 13 years ago because Riley wanted to create awareness and to have people all over the world coming here with no background at all and still caring about conservation is just mind-blowing. One of the most unique things about Amiri's volunteer program is the real hands-on experience with extremely endangered um, animals. For example, the, the black rhino, there's about five and a half thousand left of those in the wild and our volunteers can literally touch them. It's an incredible experience. And the, the other one is the elephants. Once you first see an elephant for the first time, it's really, really is a special moment. And we, we get to spend a lot of, a lot of time with them. All over the world you'll notice that you cannot conserve a species of animals without involving the local people and the local communities. And that's something that Amiri really has, you know, hit the nail on the head there. There's fantastic work with the community. So one of the things we set up at Amiri was a, a community-run garden and the volunteers then help out. And that is something that our volunteers really do love. They not only get to actually make a difference, they can see they've made a difference, but the interaction with those women as well, they are Truly incredible people, they really are. Another highlight that people love is the beekeeping. So on Amiri we have a lot of beehives. Some of the local men maintain and look after these beehives. So volunteers then get to see everything from hive relocation to hive maintenance. And the best one, which people love, is the harvesting. Once a week, we go to the primary school and we read with these kids. And it's amazing because for our volunteers to have that experience and all this diversity of activities and to go home and say to everyone, we had the opportunity to be with black rhinos and white rhinos and with a community and they share their knowledge, it creates awareness. It really is something for everyone. Obviously, we get a lot of people who love wildlife, but then the community aspect as well is, is huge. People leave with a real sense of belonging to Amiri and part of the Amiri family. I'm very proud to say that Norman Travis was my grandfather and what he did for conservation. And I hope I can somehow fill the shoes that he left because they're huge. This is the third generation of Travis family that are, that are in conservation and we, we're passionate. We're passionate about what we do. We believe in what we do. We can incorporate a lot of people. We can create opportunity for people and we can protect the species. So we're excited with where we're going on Imeri and look forward to the future.